Energy concerns, economics, and government regulation are driving the growing popularity of high-brightness LEDs, an ideal replacement for traditional incandescent bulbs. Hi, I'm Van Niemela, Fairchild Semiconductor's Marketing Manager for Industrial Power Conversion. Replacing incandescent bulbs with LEDs like this one will certainly move our world toward a greener environment, but it also poses a significant design challenge to engineers. Unlike other lamp technologies such as incandescent and compact fluorescent, white LEDs need to be driven with a constant current to maintain color balance, uniform brightness, and long life. Adding to the challenge, space can be quite limited, as you can see here. A traditional way of achieving accurate constant current is by the use of current sensing circuitry on the secondary side, as seen in this schematic diagram of an offline LED ballast which has 49 components. Fairchild Semiconductor is providing a solution for driving high brightness LEDs that requires only 28 components, 43% fewer than the previous solution. This circuit is designed around the FSEZ1016A Easy Switch, a primary side regulation controller plus MOSFET packaged in a 7-pin SOIC. This Easy Switch provides unsurpassed regulation accuracy in this simple circuit configuration using a proprietary technology called True Current. By eliminating secondary side feedback circuitry, this primary side regulation, or PSR controller, reduces component count, bill of material cost, and assembly cost. As you can see in this plot of converter output voltage versus current for different input voltages and temperatures, True Current delivers better than plus or minus 7% constant current regulation needed for LEDs or plus or minus 5% constant voltage regulation for battery chargers and many other applications, all without any secondary side feedback circuitry. Here's how it works. True Current technology uses a mixed signal processing algorithm to detect the primary side current. Then it calculates the average current on the secondary side. It cancels the effects of parameter variations in the transformer and other components, resulting in constant current regulation on the secondary side. Good current regulation is critical for applications such as LED lighting and battery chargers. Let's take a look at some of the other advanced features of the FSEZ1016A controller. Joining me is Richard Chung, Fairchild's Marketing Director for Industrial Power Conversion. Hi, Richard. Hi. So what can you tell us about this circuit? This circuit is designed for universal AC input and 12-watt, 700 milliamp output. I'll demonstrate some of the main features of the IC. Here I'm pointing out the easy switch on board, the line filter on the inputs, the transformer, and the string of LEDs that I'm powering. I'm powering up the board. This is the drain to source waveform of the power MOSFET inside the easy switch. The controller operates at a nominal switching frequency of 43 kilohertz, but the motion of the waveform shows the actual switching frequency ramps between 40 to 46 kilohertz to spread the spectrum of the generated EMI. You can see the beneficial results of these measurements of conducted emissions well below the limits shown in red. This board is made for universal input. As I vary from 110 volt input to 220 volt input, you notice that the light output does not change. Here I'm disabling the third LED. By providing constant current over a wide voltage range, the same circuit can accommodate different numbers of LEDs in a string without changing the design. This feature increases design flexibility and can reduce time to market. Dimming is easy to implement with this IC. Dimming is accomplished by reducing the current because luminance or light output is directly related to the LED forward current. Green mode operation improves light load efficiency by lowering the switching frequency smoothly as the output of the voltage air amplifier falls below 2.8 volts, reducing the switching losses proportionally. Having good control of the current has another benefit too. The life of an LED is closely related to its operating temperature which depends largely on where it operates on its voltage versus current characteristic, shown in this figure. By providing good control of the operating current, true current is able to limit heat generation and prevent premature failure of the LED. Because this circuit is so simple, the design is easy. Here you see by entering just a few input parameters, this spreadsheet calculates all component values and the transformer design requirements.
Equations embedded in this spreadsheet and the circuit design procedure are explained in the associated application note for this controller. Thanks, Richard. The FSEZ 1016A primary side regulation easy switch offers a compact solution for low power LED ballasts. This solution simplifies design and provides accurate constant current using true current technology. The end result is a low cost ballast able to meet the most stringent efficiency standards, including Energy Star EPS 2.0 Level 5. In addition to lighting applications, this controller is ideal for battery chargers and other small line powered devices that can accept plus or minus 5% DC voltage regulation. Today we've been talking about just one of Fairchild's many lighting products. To see our complete product offering, please visit www.fairchildsimi.com lighting. I'm Van Niemela and thank you for watching.